Hi, uh, Jonas here at CR Components. In this video, I'm going to run you through installing your face seals, bearings, and bearing races in the Bonfiglioli. But to start off, I'm going to show you how to install your ball bearings in your bearing cage. Basically, pretty simple. You just start from your inside and go in. Do not go from the outside in. And another quick way to tell if you have a good cage or not is these should hold themselves in there. So this is a bad cage. And then we have our good cage already installed with the ball bearings in it right here. And after you install them, you basically wanna grease them up really nice. And I'll show you that going in in a second. First, we have to install the face seal. This is real simple. Once you have it installed and your rubber and metal face seal together, Pop it down in there, all around, and make sure it's even. And we'll just take a little bit of brake clean on the shop towel, and wipe that back off, make sure it's clean. Once you have that installed, we can now install the bearing cage into your bearing cage. Your first one, you want your plastic part facing out and that's gonna lie in this second area right here. Super easy to slide in, you start one side in first. I like to go top in. Or maybe this, yeah, there we go. And that will kind of just sit right in there. If you do have a ball bearing, slide out and pop it right back in. And we'll take our other one. And that same plastic side will face the other plastic side. Like I said, those can fall out. We can pop them right back in. Just like that. Pop that right back in there. And sometimes if it does want to keep popping out, we can just take a little bit more grease. Slide it right over those. Coat it up a little more. And we'll take our other bearing race because you already have your other one installed down on here. We'll take it through the gear side. It'll slide right into that first bearing cage that we put in. You'll have your skinny side facing out and that thicker side facing your gears. And now that's ready to go down onto your other housing after we get the other face seals installed. Just like that. And wipe that down again as well. Just take it and you basically just wanna go straight over the top, as straight as you can, nice and easy. And your main goal is to make sure this bearing race isn't cockeyed. So when you set it down in there, you want it to be as straight as possible. Pretty tough to do, but then we'll basically tap it around. To get it straight, and we'll grab a hammer here. It 
This part can be pretty tricky. And you will see your ball bearings start to get around the sides of that bearing race. That's exactly what you want. You will be able to see all of them and you will see that none of them popped out. And now we feel it hitting the bottom there. And we are all the way in there. We are ready to put our nut on. Now that we have our bearings and bearing race installed, we're ready to put on our nut, which we will first lubricate with some gear oil. a little bit on there and then wrap it around. Once you have that lubed up, we can drop it down in there. And basically, I spin it the opposite way until I can hear the, until it, I can hear it click in from the threads, like that, a little click right there. Then I'll start spinning it in. And once we kind of got it started there and the thread's getting into there, which you can see right down into there, your threads are getting into place. I'll take my nut tool, which we sell here at CR Components and just drop it down in there. And you'll feel that fall into place and I'll get it going the rest of the way before we need to torque it all the way on. All right. To spin this nut down flush the rest of the way, we are gonna need the motor to be secure. So we have these holes in the bench here to stick some bolts up in, up into these threads underneath the bond figlioli. So we'll basically just line those up. pieces cleaned up there and that is how your nut should look when it is all the way down and the reason when you disassemble these that you have to cut the nut off is we punch and the factories punch marks into the nut right here and here which I'll show you right now this basically locks the nut into place We'll go from the left side on both sides of this. We're basically taking a punch with a point on it. And putting it right up against the nut threads there. And giving it a smack. You can see the indentation down in there. And that will lock your nut down into place.